from the province of Ontario in Canada, Kay Murphy performs their arrangement of The Garden by Brad Meldow. Kay, Kay Murphy. I am from Owen Sound, Ontario, Canada. It's a small town a few hours outside of Toronto. Um, I live in Toronto now, and I have been playing the trumpet for about 14 years. Very cool. And what brought you to the Trumpeters Multitrack competition? I'm just in some trumpet groups on Facebook, and I, I saw it come up last year. I was stuck at, at home for the pandemic, not a lot to do. Uh, and so I was just doing all these like big covers, a lot of like video game music, like TV music. And I saw this thing come up. And so I, I looked into it. Everything had to be done on only a trumpet. And so I had a couple recordings. A lot of them were done mostly with trumpet, but then with like some electronic instruments, uh, MIDI instruments. But then when it came up again this year, I was already following the page and they said that you could do any instrument as long as it featured the trumpet. So I'm glad that the rules kind of opened up for that this time around, and I was happy to apply for it. Do you have advice potentially for any individual who maybe feels intimidated by the process of putting together a multi-track? I didn't do too much recording before, before the pandemic started. I had a lot of fun experimenting with it for about three weeks, but then yeah, then I started to get intimidated by it and I got quite burnt out after like, feeling like I had to be doing all of this stuff. I, I felt like I had to be just like making things all the time because I had nothing else going on. When I decided to come back to it, um, I had already kind of like, I was already a little bit familiar. There's really no rush, I guess, would be my advice. There's no rush. You can always come back to it and any amount of time that you put into it will stick with you and you'll you'll have those skills of slowly building. <laughs> I like to tell people every staircase is kind of the same way, one step at a time, right? Can you tell us how many instruments total were in this recording? There's a lot, right? You have a you have a brass yeah. band instrumentation, which we're going to talk about in a minute. Primarily the trumpet, and then there's uh, a little bit of trombone and alto sax. There's a sousaphone and the drums, and then there's some MIDI instruments. I have like a, 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 a synth bass and a synth like lead line going on somewhere in the middle. So like, like five and then technically maybe six. I mean, I also sang, so I guess that's a, a seventh instrument. But off the top of my head, I want to say there were probably around 60 to 70 tracks. Is there anything else that you'd like to tell, uh, to share with our audience at, um, that we haven't spoken about? I guess, yeah, I, I might as well say why I decided to choose this song. I remember when, when Brad released this as a single before that album that, he, that came out in, I want to say 2019, uh, his album Finding Gabriel. Uh, this was the first track that came out and the first time I heard it, I was like absolutely mesmerized. At the time I was playing in one of the large ensembles at, uh, at University of Toronto and I decided that I wanted to arrange it for us to play and we played it. And ever since then, every time I find myself in a large ensemble, I always want to like bring that arrangement in. We have you to thank for, for a really great submission. So thanks for, for sharing your, uh, your time and your talent and your passion.